the Mystic Duo, two extremely rare Pokemon that can be found in the Fire Red and Leaf Green games. One is Ho-Oh, a legendary Pokemon so strong that it can bring back the dead, and leaves a rainbow behind it wherever it goes. The other is Lugia, a powerful water dragon that is in charge of the three Kanto birds. It has the ability to speak with humans using its strong psychic abilities. Very few people have attained these Pokemon in the third gen games. My name is Torrent Tortuga, and today, we're going to get the Mystic Duo shiny. Once again, here we are in the Kanto region, and today we're going to go after the legendary birds Lugia and Ho-Oh. Honestly, because of the way that older Pokemon events were distributed, I never knew that Lugia or Ho-Oh were in these two games. So, although I dislike the modern way of distributing Pokemon events, it does make it more accessible to everybody around the world. I just wish they would all have their own little secret areas or mini quests to do instead of some magic box opening up and you get the Pokemon. So let's take a trip to 2005 and see how these colorful birds were given away. There's a whole new way to battle Pokemon, and it's wireless. Pokemon Fire Red and Pokemon Leaf Green are coming September 9th, each with a free wireless adapter. The year is 2005. You and your friends are sitting outside when one of them shows you the most recent copy of Nintendo Power. It says that on May 14th at the Nintendo World Store in New York, they're giving away an exclusive item that lets you see and catch the legendary Pokemon. But you know that your parents won't take you on the long road trip across the country just so you can gather some pixels for your new game. Well, it's now 2003, 18 years later, and you still never got to do that event. So that's it, right? You'll never get to fully experience catching these two legendary Pokemon. Well, just like in my Latios and Latios video, the wonderful Gopier has got us covered. We can simply create our own Mystic Ticket distribution event and get this rare item for ourselves. But how do we go about it? First off, you're going to need two Game Boy Advances and two wireless adapters. Once you've got that, you can go to Gopier's GitHub and download the ROM for the Mystic Ticket event. Actually, while you're there, go ahead and download all of the events. They're all amazing and super fun events that you should experience. Now that you have the ROM, you have to put it on a flashable GBA cartridge. You could spend loads and loads of money on a fancy reflashable micro SD card, or like me, you could buy a cheap reflashable cartridge off of Etsy. The seller I purchased from even put the ROM on the cartridge for me for free, so you don't even need to have a GBX reader or Game Boy operator to put the ROM on the cartridge. But however you get the ROM on the cartridge, put it into one of your Game Boy Advances and attach a wireless adapter to it. Then you can put your copy of Fire Red or Leaf Green into the other Game Boy Advance and also attach another wireless adapter. Go to the Mystery Event page and select the Wireless Adapter option and after a few moments you'll have your rare Mystic Ticket waiting for you at any Pokemon Center. With the Mystic Ticket in hand, all we have to do is go to the Sailor in Vermilion City and he'll take us to Naval Rock. This is the island that has both Ho-Oh and Lugia on it, which is really cool because they're not version exclusive, which means you can get both of them in either games. So this island is basically just a long tunnel and at the end you can either turn left or right. If you turn left and go up a few stairs, you'll reach the top of the island, and Ho-Oh will appear. Now if you go back down and instead go right and go down 10 stairs, at the very bottom is Lugia. So that's how we encounter these two legendary Pokemon. So after getting all of this set up, I fired up my stream and started hunting. I started off by encountering both Lugia and Ho-Oh at the same time to see which one would appear first. So here's how it went. Shiny Ho! -Oh! Yes! Oh my gosh! Hold on. I was watching something on the other screen. Shiny Ho! -Oh! No way! Yep, turns out it was the Rainbow Bird Ho! -Oh. So before I let you guys watch this battle, let me talk a little bit about Ho! -Oh's moves, so you can prepare for this hunt if you want to do it as well. Ho! -Oh will be at level 70 and is a Fire Flying type Pokemon. It will have the moves Sunny Day, Fire Blast, Swift, and Annoyingly Recover. This means that Ho-Oh has 50 turns before it uses Struggle. Ho-Oh also has a low 4.3% chance to be captured when it is at 1 HP and put to sleep. As you will see in the second half of this video, these captures can be extremely frustrating, just because Recover has 20 PP in this game. But with some patience, they will eventually stay in a ball. So here's my shiny Ho-Oh. Ultra Ball. Spam A. Oh, come on. Don't you swift. Fire Blast? That's probably even worse. Well. I guess I could just chuck balls. Even if it's not asleep. Yeah. Hmm. 
No way. No way. All right. Awesome. A legend says that its body glows in seven colors. A rainbow is said to form behind it whenever it flies. Give a nickname to Captured Ho-Oh? Yes, please. All right, so his name is Aurora. Thanks to Darko Hector for that name. I hope they spelt that properly because that's just gonna be its name. Aurora. Nice. Alright, so once again, I am not live. I was watching YouTube videos while shiny hunting. So I'm gonna guess uh Timid. Timid nature. Let's see. Rash nature. Alright. Met at Naval Rock at level 70. Awesome! Alright, let's uh... Go heal and then throw this bad boy out in battle. Alright, we're all healed up. Let's get into an encounter. He is in the first slot, yeah? Alright, cool. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna guess a drowsy. Oh, I got it right. Awesome. All right. Normal drowsy versus. Look at that. Aurora the shiny ho-oh. That looks so clean. All right. We're going to overkill this thing with the sunny day and fire blast. And Fire Blast. Oh my gosh. Anticlimactic. Come on. There we go. Oh. Such a good shiny. Such a good shiny. And we're back with the under odds hunts. I am very excited with that. Alright. Shiny Ho-Oh. Nice. Now let's go for Lugia. One down and one to go. The very next day after capturing Ho-Oh, I started my stream to hunt for Lugia. Which, hey, if you haven't noticed, I've started streaming on YouTube now. I figured it would be better to have all of my audience in one place instead of splitting them between YouTube and Twitch. Though, to be warned, sometimes my streams are a little different than my normal videos. But enough of the shameless plugging, let's jump straight into the Lugia hunt. Shiny Lugia! There it is! Alright! 4,196 resets. Awesome! Oh, look at it! Oh, it's so nice! Once again, another under odds hunt. Now let's look at Lugia's moveset. Just like Ho-Oh, Lugia has Swift and Recover. It also has Hydro Pump and Rain Dance. So it also has a total of 50 moves before it uses Struggle. Without further ado, here's my Lugia capture. No, there's the Recover. Dang. Oh, it's such a thorn. I might have to, I might have to Master Ball it. I'm not going to give up yet, but dang, that's unfortunate. Don't use... Recover again? Oh my gosh. Okay. Recover has 20 power points, so we can do that 18 more times. So we're going to bite the bullet and and it's going to look damn good in a master ball. <laughs> ah. Oh well. Shiny Lugia's caught though. Yes. So now we have uh, we only have two master balls left. So technically, we can master ball Deoxys and Master Ball Mewtwo, if they're caught on their correct saves. It is said that it quietly spends its time deep at the bottom of the sea because its powers are too strong. Do you want a name? Yes, please. I think I'm naming this Prism. Prism. All right, uh, I am not live right now, so I'm gonna do the nature guess on myself. 
I'm going to assume it's serious. Oh, that's what I'm looking at right now. No, 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 okay. Give me a mild. Is mild in nature? Sure. Quiet nature. Oh, I just noticed my trainer ID is kind of cool. 63063? That's nice. Alright, let us get out of here and see what this looks like in battle. Alright, let's get this baby into a battle. Uh, I forget what all is on this route. I know there's Drowsy, because I got that last time. I think there's... Ekans, too? I'm gonna guess Ekans. Oh, damn it. It's Drowsy again. <laughs> Ooh, Shiny Lugia! Look at that back sprite, though. That is so clean. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So good. I... I guess Hydro Pump. <laughs> the level 11 Drowsy. <laughs> oh, well that's it. That's both of uh, both of the legendary birds. With Lugia and Ho-Oh both shiny. And there we have it, both Naval Rock legendaries hunted and added to our ever-growing collection of shinies in third generation. Here are all the shinies we've caught so far in Pokemon Box. As always, I'm going to end this video with some Pokemon Coliseum gameplay. If you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing so you can catch me live and get notified when I upload next. Also, thank you so much to everybody who subscribed so far. We're now at 500 subscribers at the time of publishing this video, which means my next hunt will be my first milestone hunt, the Onion Timekeeper Celebi. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.